Basketball hoop assembly is off message. That's an interesting text that I got from my brother. He was like concerned that one of the posts that I put up on the System.io Instagram page was of the assembly or the finished assembly of a basketball hoop. Now, the last basketball hoop that we put up was a very simple, just a, just a ring stuck to the carport. And unfortunately, where I live, we're about, I don't know, maybe, maybe a kilometer away from the sea maybe two thirds of a mile from the seat. Now everything rusts, like literally everything. If I leave it outside, it rusts fast. Even inside it rusts. The one solution is to keep everything plugged in. Anything that's electrical seems to have some kind of resilience, but the basketball hoop eroded and corroded and suddenly one day my son took a shot and the thing bent and then slowly got worse and worse, had to come down and for Christmas, we got a new 52 inch, I think, uh, basketball hoop. Now, this thing itself is a beast. Like, it's pretty amazing, in my opinion. It's acrylic with a steel frame, has like this bracketing system. It's got a slam jam thing, so when you, when you hit it, I am a long way from being able to touch the ring, but perhaps we have some friends whose kids are 6'6", and they may be able to get there. But right now, that is going to remain as a unused feature. But the assembly of this thing was a doozy. Now, what was interesting was that clearly Spalding, who make it, is saving some money on these particular things here. The universal mounting bracket owner's manual. And number two, we've got the backboard and rim owner's manual. Now... There is about 60 odd pages of instructions here, of which about five are relevant. But what they've done is taken the backboard's ability to be assembled to a pole, to a house, to a roof, to some kind of like elevation system and included it all in one manual. Which is weird because they could have identified which version and made it very simple or at least made it consistent but the weirdest thing about this is that you need both of these instruction manuals and they don't actually line up it's gone back and forwards back and forwards clearly who had whoever was using this had never actually used the instructions to put up a basketball route which is odd you know presumably someone Spent a fair bit of time putting this thing together. It's in like five languages, there's tools. You know, check out the warnings. I mean, the legal team definitely went through this thing and yet the usability of it is very poor. I had my buddy come over and he helped me put it up. You need two people to do that. And he was like, I think it's this part of the instructions. And I was like, no, 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 I've been through this several times. It's that part. But even within the two manuals, okay, so I want you to have a look at this one here. I don't know if you can see that. So you can see that this bracket points down, this bracket points up. Manual one. Now we're going to cut across to manual two. You can see that I didn't swap over. And check this out. Over in this one, which is super interesting, they have it set up in the, as, they don't even show you the picture in this one. Oh, here it is here. Here it is here. Now, so you can see that these are both the same way. So it doesn't even agree. Let alone when I got to, like in this manual, it says put the, the mounting on and then attach the board. In this one, it says put the whole thing together and then attach it. I'm like, man, what the heck? But what's that all got to do with systems? Well, you see, if systems create results, then the result that I wanted was that backboard on my carport and up and running. And the processes required for it are in here, but they're written as if somebody either already has done it so many times that there's a lot of assumptions that are made, or they have literally never tried to get anybody other than themselves to use these instructions. And in fact, I would say they're so bad that nobody's actually put them together before. And they're just like, you know what, they'll work it out, off you go. Now, 
to Spalding's credit, it actually is up on my wall. You can go check out the Instagram feed, have a look what's going on. But if they understood systems better, then they would spend some more time actually writing manuals that the end user could use. Now, will it make a big deal? Well, probably not. It's one of those things where it appears that pretty much Spalding is the only supplier of these things. So they got a monopoly. They don't care. They're like, you can have it or you can't. So what is the big deal for them? Not much other than people making videos saying, hey, dude, you can lift your game. 500, 600 bucks. I think it's like 500 bucks for this backboard. It's not a small investment, but the thing should stay up there for a long time until the sea air gets it and rusts it. But hopefully that will not be for some time. But what I wanted to bring your attention to was that this is once again an example of a system at play. It's not my system, it's Spalding's system. And there is definitely opportunity for improvement here. Even a table of contents could actually be a wonderful addition to this because there literally is, there's a parts list is our first thing, but then there's nothing. There's no like, hey, if you want to stick it on a pole, then go to page four. If you want to stick it on a wall, go to page eight. If you want to stick it on a roof, you need page 12. Even that immediate instructions, let alone the confusion that happens with sending two sets of instructions, very frustrating, very frustrating. All right, that's all I've got for you tonight. I hope you're beginning to see the link between the results that you get in life, the results that you provide for others, and the relationship to systems. Systems are running our entire world. And when you start to see that, then you'll be able to analyze and adapt and improve and your life will transform. Mm -hmm.